does it, I'll be honest. Oh! Oh, oh. oh. oh watch out, watch out! Primo day. Check out the weather. She's going to be a bit wet out there, but it should be good fun. Oh, he's had an accident. So we're at the something something Rangatel Tree Toto trail ride. And as you can see, I am going to be riding with Brad Groombridge. Or rather, he's going to be riding and then waiting for me. And then riding, but whatever. Yeah, so here's a good example of why. First blind crest on the track. And Brad just launches it. See me back here struggling to get over the top of it. So I get a bit of a hustle on, start doing some jumps. Actually wasn't the worst piece of riding in the world, but even still I probably lost five seconds in that section alone. Pretty much already out of sight by this point. We're a kilometer into the track. There he is waiting for me. Honestly, it's pretty eye-opening to ride with somebody like this who is truly fast. It looks like I'm just going slow here on purpose, but you can see right there, sliding the back end out of that corner. This was all I had. The world's sketchiest jump right here. Pay attention to the roll speed he carries through this tricky complex of corners. spot a shortcut here just trying to get every advantage I can spoiler it's not enough super rough paddock here I don't know what it still was Here he gets sick of waiting for me. You want me to go ahead? Yeah, here you go. So I make sure to just assert some dominance right off the bat. Fill him in. Just let him know that this isn't going to be one of those easy victories like all of his other races. see Brad here changing the engine map on his bike, just desperately trying to find any advantage he can in what can only be described as a forlorn hope to try and keep up. You can see him here clearly struggling. Mistake there, Brad can't capitalise, doesn't have the pace. Oh, 
How insane is the scenery here though, seriously. I could very much hear his bike behind me here, by the way. He's quite worried about washing the front end out here too, this grass. You can see how shiny it is. Still had a bit of dew from the night in it. And you didn't really know what to expect. The dirt had good grip, but this grass was like ice. Especially with a two-stroke right up your ass. actually kind of mad how slippery this hill was sort of clay base you can see big straight line ruts in it there I'm all over the show and even Brad being quite cautious it's just sort of how you had to do it oh, it looks like we've got another feeder. quick beep to let him know I'm coming through he says thanks track now. Clearly intimidated. immediately screw up.
straight line ruts, my arch enemy. Brad seemed to have a much better idea by this point in the day of what was over the back side of these blind crests. I'd memorise maybe three on the whole circuit, whereas he seemed to have a rough idea at least of what was behind most of them. chance in the spotlight. No, but for real, this gives you an idea of how much I was actually holding him up. I don't fully understand how he does it, I'll be honest. I was wondering how you were doing that. <laughs> not, not, not much run holding you up there. Do you want to do this A section? Yeah. Are you all good? Yeah. I just lost the front. <laughs> F*** your haul in there. This is not bad until you get a bit further down and then it gets a bit like around the side of this hill but we'll just go down there and have some fun. So good, how's my riding? Yeah, good. I was commentating. Alright. I just admiring your technique looks better than mine probably. Bars <laughs> are a bit twisted now and they're straight up. This was actually a really, really cool section. I could ride this sort of thing all day. I wish it was longer. Tricky log there on an angle. Oh, I've got a bit stuck. Wrong technique, maybe. Nah, this is the wrong technique. Me and Ryan later in the day, Ryan hooks a vine under his peak, broken neck. Vine comes down right as I'm going over the log, decapitated. What the? Hey, what side of the rock do you go? I like going over the middle of it and then drop it to the left. Well, what do you guys do? it? <laughs> hey, oh, there you go, a bit of entertainment. Can you go to the left a bit? Yeah, I reckon go up the dirt bit on the left. Yeah. Tractor it up there, eh? Are you gonna have another go? Yeah, f***ing eh? Yeah, I'm not 
Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> nah, you just ride, just follow this around the bottom. Yeah. Roll back and then I'll go up there. Watch out, watch out! Holy f Are you all good? Yeah, the foot peg just got hung up. Far out. Wasn't actually that bad. He's going again too. <laughs> That's how I was meant to do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around the bottom. So with that, I bravely went around. Good bit of fun, couple of little whoopsies. That thing's like a f***ing tractor. And second time around, Brad's corner managed to get me too. I hit my toes on the bank then so hard. That was... Ran the where I crashed, eh? On yeah. That yeah, you squashed they... this foot, eh? Yeah, they got f***ing wedged against something in the bike. F*** it hurt. Anyway, here we are coming on down into another A section. We'd actually been warned about this one in the pits before we set out. And you can tell neither of us has done it before because we both made exactly the same mistake on the way down into it. Whoa! Bit of an overshoot there. situation like this it never hurts to say a quick prayer to the one true god all right come on come on graham Bit of hard enduro for you mate. Yeah. And all that was left to do from here was 
embarrass Brad one last time with the skills that Graham had beseeched upon me. And that was my first experience riding with somebody who I think is indisputably the fastest rider in the country, at least on this sort of terrain. And I joked around a lot, but it was pretty eye-opening. It's one thing to see these guys ride, but to then do the same section yourself and get a sense of actually how rough that was or actually how slippery that was sort of puts things in a new perspective. So, yeah, good experience, if perhaps a little disheartening at the same time. 